Hi, and welcome back to That's Entertainment, the weekly entertainment show where we all look at all the interesting news from last week, this week. This is our first show of 2023, and this week we're looking at some of the key issues facing film and distribution this year, with some observations and predictions for the coming months that we've come across. To begin with, the good news is covered by Deadline Hollywood. Global box office hit 26 billion in 2022, growing 27% versus 2021. And according to Gower Street Analytics, the international non-North American box office accounted for 18.4 billion of that money, a 16% increase on last year at the current exchange rate. If we remove China from the comparison, overseas revenue is estimated to be 14.1 billion, representing 55% increase on 2021. China is down 49% versus the pre-pandemic three-year average. According to Comscore, the domestic North American box office was up 65% at 7.5 billion. The numbers are encouraging, but demonstrate that there's still a way to go towards recovery. The worldwide figure is 35% uh, below the pre-pandemic three-year average. And that equates to a loss of approximately 14 billion current exchange rates. The international markets, excluding China, are estimated to have finished at a slimmer 29% deficit against the 2017-2019 average. In their look at the months ahead, Variety neatly summarised the industry's worries. Theatre owners have been lamenting the meagre release slate for months, and it doesn't look like the studios will return to pre-pandemic output levels at any time soon. So will 2023 supply enough blockbusters to keep the theatrical business alive? With the release of the calendar finally stabilising, for now at least, there does appear to be a healthy assortment of options on deck throughout the year, from low-budget horror to colossal superhero epics, mid-budget comedies to adult-skewing dramas, and a movie about a bear that does cocaine. Some of these releases, however, have much better shot at success than others. Over at the Puck News website, Matthew Baloney's recent article, 23 semi-surefire Hollywood predictions, predicaments, and preoccupations for 2023, included the following. The studios will redefine the hit movie. The movie business desperately needs to shift the narrative, so I'm betting all kinds of middling movies are about to be anointed hits. Call it a side effect of the new normal or part of Hollywood's long history of moving the goalposts to declare victories. Universal is considering releasing PBOD revenue to counter the flop narrative on movies that perform well at home but not in theatres. And it's already happening with theatrical wins like The Wonder The Woman King, a $50 million production that grossed $92 million worldwide last summer. Certainly that's a decent result for the kind of mid-budget star vehicle that the studios aren't really making, but with the help of the Sony PR team, the media gave this thing a blockbuster status. Reality check, it'll probably barely break even in theatres after the PNA. In a normal theatrical e- ecosystem, it would never have garnered so much attention. London-based Screen Daily took a more international perspective uh, with its nine talking points for the global film industry in 2023, and also shined a spotlight on the emergence of international mega players, corporate acquisitions, a go-go by the likes of Fremantle, Banjay uh, Media, The North Road, Mubi, Cohen Media Group, and Candle Media has meant that film and TV sector consolidation has not been limited to the US giants in the last year. Despite this, according to PwC, the deal numbers in the media and telecommunications sector slowed by 26% in 2022 compared to the year previous. Many believe that deal making will continue in 2023 despite or perhaps because of the challenges facing the economy. Demand for content, particularly from streamers, will continue to make production companies attractive to trade buyers. Screen Daily also highlighted two international territories that could prove to be significant this year. The growth of Saudi Arabia being one of them. Saudi Arabia is the only country where box office has more than doubled since the COVID-19 pandemic, and the box office revenues are predicted to surpass $1 billion by 2030, placing it in the top 20 of global cinema markets. Don't count out China, though. Both the Chinese industry and the Hollywood studios heaped a sigh of relief with the arrival of Avatar, The Way of Water, which grossed $14.3 million on its opening day. Avatar also marked the high-profile return of Hollywood tentpoles at a time when very few have been approved for release. But the US-China relationship remains precarious. But despite acknowledging the emergence of the potential green shoots of recovery, Screen has also led with the single biggest problem the film industry faces this year how to reverse a 30% decline at the global box office. 2022 benefited from strong performers, including Top Gun's Maverick, and ended the year strongly with Avatar, The Way of Water, but only delivered three $1 billion hits, including Jurassic World Dominion. In 2019, eight films released that year achieved the $1 billion mark. One challenge is China, and COVID remains a stubborn issue. 
another is Russia, where US uh, studio titles are not being released. For 2023, cinema op operators are more bullish, although they have a tendency to talk up the release slate in anticipation and then blame it when the box office disappoints. More worrisome is the recent performance of adult skewing titles in indie dramas. With the collapsing theatrical windows, smaller distributors will need to work ever harder to persuade these audiences to see the films on the big screen. That's all for this week. Goodbye.